C9 has to respect the power of Santorin's Pantheon right now. This could be a kill. Oh, that is so much damage. Blabber flash, the flash follow, and there is first blood. Six minutes in, Vulcan gets away to safety. Up right now, but two fly quest. If we take a look at this fight yet again, it's just a great hook off the ward. Yeah, I mean, they tried to scatter off that control ward because they knew a Blitzcrank was going to be coming. Didn't reaction flash the hook, thought maybe you'd be able to sidestep it. Four versus three in favor of fly quest. That said, Vulcan yeah, then shows up with the 4v4, and this time around solo. Oh, that is a hook! And that is burst damage. The ult comes down for Blabber in time, jumps on the wall. He's going to stay in the ring for some healing. And that's going to be us keep him alive. Here comes the Orin Horn. Spite's going to go through the Cloud9. They oh. claim that. But Igno's going to walk up for a kill. Can't find it. Cloud9 by the slimmest of margins. Really? You just have to pay attention to where C9 uses this Rift Herald. If they can get a kill onto the Flash, the Solo, wow. it could be first turret. Flash used for it. Solo's going to run around as fast as he can, but he's now on the wrong side of the map. Not possible to live. Blabber's got the mark. They're going to find the kill in Cloud9 finally on the board in the final. Okay, plate number two is going to die, and Harold will get the next two, but Pee wants to go for the play Here comes as fast as he can. Here comes the play. Here comes the dive. Two on two. Flash from Blabber. They're focusing him down. It's a lot of first. A quick stun for Licorice, and they're going to burn down Santorin. Blabber was still unable to put a one for oh, one. He got the kill. He's now 114 CS, one kill, Azir. And watching this one more time, the margins are razor thin. Of course, they burst the Kindred because right now that is the highest DPS character. Uh, Blabber does get the kill first, but what FlyQuest cares about. 15 minutes away from Dragon Soul. If either team takes out oh. the game right now, great hook down there for us. The Flash of the Vulcan Whoa. may just live, but may just not. The anchor backwards. There's a little bit of hesitancy with the way they're going. They gotta find their footing in this game, and that's a big thing. <laughs> Oh, goodbye. That is Flashless Ignar. He burned it to chase down Vulcan and didn't convince the kill to come over. Now it flashed to the bottom side. So much crowd control. Licorice going to come up punch back, but he's still running low on health and just simply is not going to get away. But he will set up for his mid laner. Niski gets on the board with his first kill of the game. Looks like they're starting to find their footing a little bit. Uh, actually moves off the Rift Herald to go for this Azir. Okay, Blabber's gonna get knocked back. He's gonna build some time, but he's still been slow to Licorice on the run. Vulcan's here as well. Sven over the top. Kiwi has Flash. He's got Cleanse as well. Yep. They've got this river lit up. C9 still has Rift, so they might look to pressure with Rift Herald for something, but they find Turtle. <laughs> that oh. is so much damage. The anchor into the ultimate. Nothing could have been done unless he flashed the Q. Turtle and can't fight it. They wanted it. They could go for it. They're staying from it. You can see the disappointment on FlyQuest faces right now after Wild Turtle getting picked off. This is a questionable fight with no AD carry, but they're going anyway. Missed the hook. They saw, they saw Nisk. He was bot lane. They're going to go back into this one. Vulcan gets the aftershock on. Goes in towards Zoli. He's going to run back. Big burst. Going to get him down. And they will. They will knock down Flyver. The trade back to Ventura. It's jungler for jungler. Now Vulcan's getting low. One more auto would kill, but he gets out of range. Nisk on the way back up the lane, same for Wild Turtle. Again, it's the one for around mid, which is kind of what's happening right now. Wild Turtle has to really watch out, and FlyQuest jumped the gun. They're going earlier. They can get Sven. Going for the play, and they've knocked down one already. Here comes the re-engage, and it's a 4v4 because PUE cannot join the fight. So Ignar is dead, and into the back line goes Licorice. The chase down's going to look good. You got to run. Flash. Licorice does the same. There is a slow on Solo, and he can try to get away. The health bar is big, but he's not nimble enough. Same. Wow. Nice bit of damage trade as Volk goes in a half HP. Well done by Wild Turtle. Puts down another turret. That's more things. Here comes the hook. Here comes the play already. The touch the back line. Power of Evil is not good. He got his ear. One for one so far, and Santorin's in a bad spot. He's going to try to flash away. Stays alive for now. Wild Turtle pre far through. Higher execution in the team fights. Yes, what? they have. Nine to six in kills. Those fights have gone better. The hook's not going to land. The stun certainly will. Will we knock down Vulcan? Not just yet. Finds the backline stun. Damage on Santorin. Gets taken wow. down. And Blabber's still on the chase. Gets pushed back. Oh, barely gets back on the ultimate. Here comes Vent Horizon. Here comes Woo! the re-engage. Huge damage from PoE, but it's not going to be enough. Turtle is going to get punched to death. And Sven is free firing as well. FlyQuest can try to find the kill on the Blabber. Solo gets a bit close. Strategy. You also have to be able to out-punch them in team fight. Mentioned the cage that comes down. No re-engage possible. There's turn number Whether one. Not going back to the Blitzcrank is a good idea because he's had plenty of looks and fairly few conversions. They're going for this. Well, they're going to keep going for this one, though. Licorice has forced to burn his flash. They're going to flash follow this one. They they're really, hustle. really trying for this kill. Ignar needs to land the hook. It's the ulti to get the punch oh, back in. There's the punch. Oh, man. And bullet time. 
drops him low. Licorice will still fall. Is this a fight that Cloud9 wants? They find a knockup on the Volk, and the cage comes down for not doing too much. C9 is just barreling down to try and find FlyQuest. FlyQuest do it, though, and now they're going for the Flabber's trying to farm. He's going through wards to do this. Solo shows up. Funnel just to get that spot, and they have no vision. This is going to be an uphill battle for FlyQuest. Vulcan front lines. He'll pop Stonefleet when he can. He's dropped so dangerously low, and Kidadol comes down as well. Pee-wee make the big play, and it's two kills picked up. That's huge for FlyQuest. How about the re-engage? They've already picked up one. It's now back to a 4v3, and Cloud9 Oh, looking to go forward. Ben flashes away, trades his life. Nisky's in the middle of three. That's going to be him dropping. FlyQuest may have the, fight. the corner, but I'm going to watch that replay later because we don't have time for it now. Everyone's yeah. respawning and running back here. See, guys, just going to start up the Drake and force FlyQuest to come in. They don't have Ornall yet. Dragon fight to Electric Boogaloo. Go for the battle right away, but Aphelios is nowhere nearby. The smite is easy, and here comes the engage. This looks Cloud9 favored, and it certainly is. Quick two for zero. Not a problem at all. Shit, though, that uh, with them being able to pick up the Ocean Soul, having Santorin dead, no steal to be had unless Turtle... <laughs> but the game yeah. state lies to about 6,000 gold. That is an Ocean Soul and a Baron buff. All right, so this is going to be the failed steal attempt by Santorin after that nutty fight we saw in the mid lane. And it's just a wash for C9. Uh, FlyQuest, just because of the death timers of Turtle, like the fact that he actually died at the very end of that fight, meant he couldn't be there Never and win that fight 3v5, especially when you know Nisty can teleport in. So either way, it's now Cloud9 going in. Nice alley-oop right there. Pulls in Solo, gonna jump backwards. He'll stay alive. Ult's gonna land on two, but it's ultimately As good. They're going to Shepard in the wave. The cannon minion will do a little bit of chip damage and one auto attack will knock it down from Ven. So here comes the engage. Done. Done onto two. Goodbye to Ignar. Solo is tanky, but he still has to outrun Cloud9 and that will not happen. Oh. The dunk is 80% of Yui's health, and Sven does the rest. In for the dive, his blabber pops the ulti. Here come the emotes, just for good measure. Couldn't catch with the arm, but it doesn't matter. The Nexus will fall. FlyQuest made him work for it, but Cloud9 are the better team. They take game one of the LCS fight.